hey y'all welcome back to another video girl we started a new series on the channel because i'm in the process of trying to get my life together trying to put my life put the pieces back together and i know that it's not going to be overnight and instead of me going through all of this by myself um you know why not bring you guys with me girl because I mean maybe somebody will learn something maybe I'll learn something I don't know um but anyways girl okay so definitely this is a new journey y'all and I haven't been through a journey like this in a long time for these reasons like everything that I shared with you guys in the last video the reason the main reason why i was so emotional about it which i didn't get emotional on camera but behind the scenes and why i was so upset so sad disappointed all the things reevaluating remember i told y'all i was reevaluating everything the reason why that was is because it was a situation that could have been prevented and if it had been prevented, it wouldn't have caused so many other things to happen. It was like a domino effect, right? And it was all based on just one issue, and that was just a lack of communication. You know, I was completely in the dark, or well, I'm not going to say completely in the dark. I was just under one perception, and it turned out that that wasn't what it was. So now I have to deal with the consequences of those decisions that were made that led us to this point, right? And the lack thereof, okay? Because it's mainly the lack thereof, but it's okay. Um, we're going to keep moving, you know? We're going to keep moving. I don't have a choice but to. I done cried out all my tears. I don't know how else to feel about everything that is happening. You know, I just don't know what to do other than to just keep moving and keep doing what I know how to do, which is try my best to make an income and survive. You know what I'm saying? So I did start off the morning. It is about three o'clock almost. So Olivia's going to be out of school in a couple hours or whatnot. And I managed to get a lot done this morning. I wrote everything down that I wanted to focus on first as far as my day before I did anything else. Um, so the first thing, of course, was looking for a job. I spent most of the morning looking for a job. Uh, today, I focused on overnight shifts. And I had to come to a decision to start applying to those types of jobs because of the situation. I told y'all in the last video that it's been hard for me to find jobs because of the time restrictions that I have. Um, they just don't work with a lot of the way a lot of companies schedule their employees. You know what I'm saying? And so um, it came to me last night and I was like, well, the only way that I'm going to solve my problem of not leaving Olivia here by herself and making sure that I have an income coming in is to work overnight. Now, this is definitely a decision that even though it came to mind last night, it wasn't the first time. I just haven't thought about it in a while because the last time that I wanted to work overnight shifts, it the hun didn't really take it too well and I ended up not doing it. Um, he felt the way about it and I was just like oh okay well I don't want to fuss or fight about it so let me just not do it right not to say that we be around her fussing and fighting not saying that but I just you know once you know a person is not on board it just there's no point even continuing the conversation right so that conversation was dead been dead for months and but last night I was just like man I'm in a really really weird position like I don't have a car, you know, and that's the other thing too with job hunting. I have to make sure that I can get to the job. I'm on the bus right now, right? So I have to make sure that I can even get to the job, um, you know, close to a bus line or at least a bus goes to it or something. You get what I'm saying? So I have to definitely make sure that I don't have 
the free will to just work anywhere because I don't want to be somewhere where working somewhere where I'm literally taking Uber to work every day back and forth. Uber and Lyft is expensive. It's cheaper to ride the bus. <laughs> it may take you a minute to get where you need to be, but it's cheaper, right? And if I'm doing it every single day, you know, 20 $25 lift rides add up depending on how far you're going and then coming back that's like oh girl you do the numbers but yeah so did that i did straighten up olivia's room a little bit um a lot actually because her room is just kind of getting on my nerves i'm using her computer to upload my video um because the uh, child I, I sit right here so much. I just wanted a change of scenery. <laughs> Honestly, I just wanted a change of scenery. So, as far as sitting at a desk. And so, I'm at Olivia's computer uploading episode one. Which, by now, you guys have already seen. So, I'm uploading that. Doing my thumbnail. Or, actually, not doing my thumbnail. I'm about to go do my thumbnail. And then, um... That's it for now, but prior to that, like I said, I did straighten up Olivia's room. Of course, I cleaned the kitchen, had my coffee, took my shower, you know, all the morning routine stuff. And so, that's it. We're all caught up. Um, man, I found a lot of overnight jobs at the airport, and I applied to the majority of them. There were some food service jobs um, in, like, hospitals and stuff downtown. Uh, at Grady that were open but they want you to have they want you to be vaccinated so I couldn't apply I actually ran into a couple of those requests where there was a few jobs where um, in hospital facilities or list assisted living facilities even if you're going to be in the kitchen and stuff where you had to be vaccinated so of course that automatically disqualified me but anyway so yeah I'm about to go get back to it because this video i don't know episode one i don't know when i'm actually gonna post it um i might wait a couple of days to post it so actually these vlogs that you got that you guys watching are kind are gonna kind of be behind right so they're not gonna be up to date really i don't think but anywho, y'all so yeah let me check that off check that off I need to clean out my computer I have low storage space on my computer and I need to just clean off all of the old files I have duplicates of files and stuff pictures thumbnails all kind of stuff on this computer and I need to clean it off because it's still a good computer even though I can't um, work from home on this system anymore it's still a good computer y'all um, but yeah, so I need to just clean off a lot of stuff, all of my old Arise client information as far as their systems and all that. Go ahead and take all that stuff off. So I'll probably do that by before the end of the night. Alright y'all, so I'm in the process of making myself something to eat, but I decided to make a few extra burgers just in case anybody else wanted one. It's free for all tonight, and so I'm hungry. It is almost 7 o'clock, and I'm about to cook some of these sweet potato puffs. I didn't know that they made sweet potato puffs. I actually do really like sweet potato fries, so I know that these are going to be amazing. They're just bite-sized sweet potatoes, so I'm going to deep fry those. I've got my grease over here. And on my burger, I'm just going to do cheese and I might cut up a, um, I have some purple onion left, so I might do like a slice of onion 
and I may cut up a pickle and that'll be it. I'm not going to do like lettuce and tomato or nothing like that. And I think I'm going to toast my bread, but I'm not sure. But that is all I have going on right now, y'all.